Roma is the story of Cleo, a nanny to a middle class family in 1971 Mexico. We are given insight to her life as a domestic worker during the time of civil unrest. The film is a collection of memories from director Alfonso Cuaron's real life childhood. Recreating a convincing memory was a philosophy Alfonso followed throughout the making of Roma. That the process was going to be through memory. In other words, it was to recover those moments, shooting in the actual places and the actual spaces. In order to showcase his memories, it was important to preserve authenticity and a sense of believability. The slow camera panning throughout the film helps to capture an authentic representation of memory. Take this early scene of Cleo waking up the children in the morning, for example. The camera pans slowly left to right. Notice the pillar in center frame slowly move to left frame. When we cut to the upstairs, another pillar is similarly framed and moving to the left. This framing technique allows our eyes to easily follow what's going on. It seamlessly connects the downstairs to the upstairs. Cleo also moves with a natural flow. We see her go room to room with no cuts in between. If she does go out of frame, the camera flows into position and picks her up again. The scene's natural flow makes her believable, as if she woke up the children right there and then in real time. Alfonso leaves out no detail and gives us a panoramic view to his memory. The camera's slow but intentional panning allows the scenes to speak for themselves and achieve authenticity. The camera also becomes our viewfinder and guide to 1971 Mexico. Allowing the scenes to flow in which the camera is more like a ghost that comes from the future and is in that place and is just witnessing. Through the camera, Alfonso plants us in the middle of Mexico's landscape and rhythm. Instead of traditionally placing the camera directly in front of the subject, Alfonso keeps the background in focus. He fills the entire frame with scenery. This allows the viewers to soak up the landscape of Mexico in 1971. In both these scenes, Cleo isn't running strictly for plot purposes. The camera panning to follow Cleo also gives us a chance to witness beautiful visuals. There was no score in the making of Roma. The sounds and rhythm of a real life Mexico were the soundtracks to the film. The camera also gives us a unique perspective into Mexico's history. Protester violence breaks out as Cleo shops for a crib. Shots are fired and leaves everyone frightened. Instead of cutting multiple reaction shots, Alfonso displays everyone's reaction at once. Again, the camera sits at an advantageous spot to capture everyone's horrified reaction rather than one by one. The camera, in its framing and movements, wastes little space and detail to fully engage us in the picture. Alfonso's cinematography is stylish, but more importantly, has meaning. Alfonso marries the importance of what to shoot and how to shoot it. Despite being a very personal piece about a domestic worker in 1970s Mexico, Roma has resonated with people from all walks of life. In a very objective narrative, because the narrative is very objective, it's not a subjective point of view, to create a very individual experience for the audience. The, the, the attempt was not to give answers or telegraph things to the, for the audiences, for the audience to be participate to the experience of their own memory. This idea of having an individual experience through watching an objective narrative is the fundamental reason we go to the movies in the first place. The individual experience Roma offers is the act of remembering, just as Alfonso does on screen. Take the beach scene for example. The scene is a collection of emotions. A sunny day at the beach turns for the worse when one of the children almost drowns. Cleo confesses her guilt of not wanting her stillborn child and we get the sense that Cleo cements her place as a family member. What is captured is emotions, and in the end, the scene suggests that memories are a collection of emotions. The scene invites us to think back to the emotions we felt in a particular memory. A family day at the beach, or when a loved one left our family. 
our memories tend to be more vivid when we tap into how we felt at that time. In Roma, we're not just watching Alfonso remember, but we're also invited to our own memories of past. I don't know. I don't know. 